Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In previous video, we have drawn the front view of this object in a third angle projection system, right? Now in this video, we will draw its a top view in third angle projection system, right? So we already derived the relative position of a front view, top view and side view in a third angle projection system. So if your object is third quadrant, then your front view will lie below the reference line XY and your top view will lie above the reference line XY. Again, if you still have a confusion, you can view my video that uh, difference between first angle projection system and third angle projection system. You can view that video by clicking on the I button. Right. Now let's continue to draw the top view of this object. So again, in a top view, which two dimension are visible? In a top view, length and breadth, these two dimensions are visible. So if we make a light rectangle of 68 by 68, then in that particular rectangle, we can draw our top view, isn't it? Let's start to draw the first light right angle. For a top view, we have to observe this object from the top itself. So we have to view this object from the top. Now let's identify the surfaces which are visible in a top view. So first of all, this surface is visible, isn't it? This surface is also visible and uh, this is an inclined face. So some part of that is visible. When we project that over here, that uh, that is visible. Similar way, this is also inclined face that is also visible in a top view right this uh, dovetail will not be visible in a top view and this slot is also visible so this is also visible right so when we see from the top the maximum dimension is a 68 by 68 so these are the inclined edges which are visible in a in a top view so let's first identify uh, let's first draw this rectangle which is visible in a top view right so in that particular rectangle we can fix or we can project our this smaller rectangle or this all the faces so the dimension of that rectangle is nothing but 68 by 68 so we have to make this as a visible line So this is my that rectangle in this rectangle I can fix my top view isn't it so let's first of all draw this uh, top surfaces so to draw that uh, top surfaces we can see this uh, uh, this will be nothing but a rectangle of 24 plus 24 48 by 48 and which is exactly at uh, situated at the center of this object right even we can take the projection from this two point. So this is total is a 68 and this is a 48. So we have to keep a distance of 10 millimeter from all the edges to locate this at, at exactly at the center.
now let's make the edges which are visible using the uh, visible line so when we see from the this side this edge is visible in a top view so this edge is nothing but uh, 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 this edge so this edge is visible so let's draw this edge using the dark line Now another edge is at a distance of 15 millimeter. So from this, on a, at a 15 millimeter, draw another line, and then there will be a, a some suitable gap of, uh, uh, let's say this is 15, 30, this is 48. So there will be a gap of 18 millimeter between these two, right? So 15 plus this would be 18 equivalent to 24 plus 24 48 so 30 plus 18 48 right so gap of 18 millimeter so let's draw let's mark all this line over here Now I haven't uh, made this as a visible dark edge, right? So this edge and this edge are not exactly at the same line. If you take a projection of this, then uh, there will be a slight outside this uh, small rectangle will be visible, right? So we have to draw this rectangle over here, which is not exactly straight. So we have to draw this using rectangle. So that can be uh, projected from the view. We can see the boundary of our slot. Our boundary is up to this inclined edge. So let's take a projection of that inclined edge and draw a light line in a top view. You can see over here. So our uh, slot will be visible up to this. So we have to make that as a dark using visible line. Again, these inclined edges are still remaining which are also visible in a in a top of you so we have already drawn this rectangle this rectangle having dimension of 48 by 48 so corner point of that rectangle is over here so this is the corner point and corner point of our bigger rectangle is over here so we have to join these two using visible line so we have to join these two on four all the four corner so let's join this Now all the visible part we have drawn. Now let's draw this dovetail using hidden line. So there will be two edges which will be hidden. So one is over here. This is also hidden. And the one edge that will make over here that is also hidden. So we have to draw this edges using hidden line. So let's take a projection from the front view. So this is my uh, front view. Let's take a projection from the front view.
so this is our complete object right we have drawn our top view in a third angle projection system i hope you understand the concept uh, if you have any query you can uh, write it in a comment section do like share and subscribe to my channel for such a more content and we'll see you in the next video dimensioning will be completed in the last video when we come we draw our left hand side view